So it's finally time I give my real opinion about Ian Geary. Right now, as things stand, he is the most hated fighter on the entire roster. He is the biggest heel that we have seen in a very long time. Everybody that I know is talking trash about Ian Gary. I mean, even my girlfriend's sister-in-law's son is talking trash about Ian Gary. It is by far safe to say that Ian Gary is getting the most flack for his current situation, and he has potential to become, I mean, an all-out mega superstar. But what he also is, and the reason why he can be this biggest heel that I've ever seen, is because he's one of the biggest crybabies that I've ever seen. This guy has gotten so much trash, so much shit the past week, that he has actually privated his Twitter account and disabled comments on his Instagram. He cannot handle the heat right now, and he is by far getting way too emotional about this. I know. You know what? In all honesty, man, it's 100% acceptable for Ian Gary to be upset about this. He has every right to be angry about his current situation, but take it like a champ. Take it like a man. You're letting these little Twitter kids get in your head, Ian Gary. I thought you were a UFC fighter. I thought you were tough as nails. Why are you... I don't know what he's doing, man. He he he's down bad. He's in a really terrible situation, and it's funny, and it's it's fun to laugh at. I love getting into it, man. But he called out Strickland today. He put a little Instagram reel or whatever on his Instagram, and he called out Strickland. The more people talk, the more people talk. The harder I work, got more people to prove wrong. It's not fueling me. It's pissing me off. Now we've got, I might have to win a, a middleweight world title before I win the Walter Ray. This dude is taking this so hard, and I understand. Strickland came out and he said some, said some, he said what I wanted to say, but in a more vulgar version. Strickland has given Ian Gary the whole cake and he is making him eat it right now. So I can understand him wanting to fight him in the future, but man, dude, it seems like he's getting very emotional about this. And I don't know if Ian Gary is in the right state of mind to go to this press conference. When 296 hits, Ian Gary needs to, needs to not be emotional and not be as turnt or as tight as he is right now. Pause. He needs to go in there with an actual game plan and try to play into this heel role that he has naturally developed in his career. Because let's be honest here about Ian Gary. Most people very much dislike this man and they have very, very credible reasons to dislike him. I mean, the whole situation with Neil Magny where he called him out for hitting his kid when that wasn't the case entirely. The whole Jeff Neal situation where he put his mugshot on a t-shirt. This guy is an actual jerk and he has a really massive ego. And then once he catches some trash from some of these other UFC fighters, he threatens to sue him. It's very soy boy activities. It's very beta, if you ask me. And I really honestly think there is no coming back from this if I'm Ian Gary. He is going to be hated for the rest of his UFC career. No matter how good he is, no matter what he does, he's going to be remembered for this specific situation. So what does he need to do? How can he at least garner some attention and, and sell some pay-per-views for us? And what that is is playing into this. Be the massive heel, be the jerk, and if he dares, if he absolutely dares to skip out on the UFC 26 press conference, oh my God, I can't even give you a description of how angry that would make me. He needs to go there like a man, like a champ, and he needs to take his L from Colby Covington, Leon Edwards, Patty Pimlet, Ferguson, Luke K, any... Anybody who's on that press conference, he needs to take that L and he for damn sure needs to be proud about it and strut it around. I want to see him walking in there with Layla. I want to see her at the press conference. I want to see her asking him questions. I want to see her all over him, hugging him, kissing him, everything. I want to see him give him this jerk, ego, uh, psycho smile to everybody, laughing at everybody's faces. I want to see him become like the Joker almost. I want to see him become the biggest heel that we have ever seen. And I already know, Lucas Tracy already beat me to this video, but I don't care. I wanna give my opinion about it as well. He needs to become the biggest pimp that I've ever seen. I don't know, man. Just come in wearing some super 
stylistic suit with Layla next to him and just absolutely laugh in everybody's faces at the press conference. Play into it, man. Be this jerk. Be this asshole. Have a massive ego. Be this complete, absolute lunatic on the microphone. Actually talk trash. Be this mega star but the most hated star of all time, be that Ian Gary, play into this. Because you know what? We have disliked fighters before in the past. There's plenty of Israel Adesanya haters in the MMA community. But guess what they do? They still buy his pay-per-views. They still watch him. I made a whole video about trash talk and why fighters need to trash talk more. Because guess what? When people hate you, they're more inclined to watch you. Because there's nothing more. I don't care what anybody says. There's nothing more that irritates an MMA fan than watching a guy they absolutely hate win a fight. And I don't care what you say. If you're that kind of guy who's like, you know, I've, I've never hated a fighter. You know, I root for all the fighters. You're lying to yourself. That's not true because there's guys who you like and there's guys who you dislike. You root for certain fighters because you have an emotional connection to them. Whether it's good or bad, you will feel a certain type of way when your favorite fighter loses. And it's the exact same feeling when a fighter you dislike wins. People say this all the time. Love and hate are two sides of the same coin. And when it comes to your favorite fighter and your most hated fighter, they are two sides of the same coin. You have the same emotions when they win and when they lose. It's either massive gratification or extreme anger. And we as humans naturally have these emotions. Don't deny it. Feed into it. Be... <laughs> Quit pushing it away. I know you feel it. And Ian Gary is one of these guys where if he does play into that massive heel role, guess what he can be? A absolute superstar. He can sell pay-per-views just by being hated. He can get more eyes on him because nobody likes him. Ian Gary has gotten the most attention out of any fighter, I think, this year. There has been more content made on him this week than I think any fighter has had the entirety of this year. If you're an MMA fan and you have watched YouTube for the past two weeks, any video, it was probably about Ian Gary. Every fan of MMA knows what's going on with Ian Gary right now. You can't avoid it. And sometimes, man, all press can be good press. Ian Gary is now a massive name. Everybody knows who he is, and he needs to only feed into that more play into that role, be this jerk, be this fucking Western cowboy, be this absolute heel, play into it. And he can be absolutely massive for the sport. I, I Listen, I know it's in the title. I know it's in the thumbnail. Ian Gary, he can be the next McGregor. I, I know that's a lofty task and that's a very, very high bar to reach. And yeah, he definitely won't be as liked as McGregor, but he will have so much hate, so much trash being spewed upon him that I think it, it can equal the love that McGregor received. And Ian Gary is a great fighter. He has potential to keep winning fights in the UFC. He can be a champion down the line. Listen, I know we don't like him as a person, but his fighting style, the way he fights, he's actually talented. He's actually really good. And he can become something and he can make the UFC and himself a lot of money and he can actually be good for the sport. The more eyes he draws and the more attention that he brings to him, the more money the UFC will make, the more money that he will make for him and his family. I know it's bad now. I know he's emotional about it, but Ian Gary, if by God's green earth, by some miracle, you happen to see this video and you're at this point and you're still watching it, dude, who cares? Just be a heel. Be hated. It's fine. You're going to be okay. If you and Layla are actually rock solid and in a good relationship, who cares what everybody else is saying? But what you need to do is play into this role. Be this demon. Be this angry bad guy. Be this. Because if you do be it, I'm telling you, your potential is all the way up here. And it can't get any lower. If you go out at 296 and you get KO'd out cold by Luke, I mean, bro, it, it was you're going to get trashed for it anyways. You're going to receive all the hate and people are going to be happy and cheering like, yay, Ian Gary got put out cold. No matter what you do at the press conference, you're going to get absolutely trashed for getting put out by Luke. But if you win and you play into this heel role and you actually be this, this, this complete asshole, guess what's going to happen? People are only going to be more angry, more unsatisfied, and they're going, they're definitely 
going to tune in for your next fight no matter what. I'm telling you this right now. I'm telling you right now, if you want to be this next McGregor that you so desperately want to be, you have to fall into this heel role. You have to be this villain. You have to do this. Your path towards stardom has been set. This little nice guy stick is not going to fly anymore. This little like, oh, I, I want a virtue signal about Neil Magny and his kid. It's not going to fly anymore. That time has passed. It's now time for Ian Gary to be the villain. And he should be the villain because it's good for the UFC and it's good for the sport. Even if I don't like him, even if you don't like him, even if... 99.9% .9 of the population doesn't like him. He will be good for the sport. I'm telling you that right now. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Give me a comment. Give me your take. Give me your opinion about this whole situation. So that's it for today. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications. I'm out of here, guys, and I'll see you later. Peace.